In today's lesson, we're going to look at six different ways to talk about the future in English. Hello and welcome to another video. My name's Alex. Today we're going to look at different ways to talk about the future in English. One of the most common mistakes that students make is to just use will. They think will, future simple, that's how we talk about the future in English. But unfortunately it's not quite as simple as that. We have lots of different ways to express the future depending on what type of future and depending on what you want to express. So we're going to look at six sentences, talk about the meaning of them or the why we want to use these tenses or structures and then we're going to look at the grammar as well and then at the end I'll give you a little test with five sentences. Let's have a look at the first one. Our first sentence is the class starts at 12 tomorrow. So first of all let's think about what we're trying to express in the future with this sentence. So it's a schedule or a timetable. The class starts at 12 tomorrow or the day after. So what tense is this? It's present simple, which as I said, we use to describe a timetable or a schedule in the future. The second sentence, I'm meeting some friends this evening. So what type of future is this? It's not a timetable like in the first example. It's an arrangement or something that you would put into your diary, a plan but something that's quite certain. And what's the tense we're using here? That's right, it's present continuous. And the structure, just to remind you of present continuous, we have the verb be and then the ing form of the verb. So our first two examples, we have present tenses, but in both of them, they have a future meaning. Let's have a look at a third example. Sentence three, I'm going to apply for college after the summer. I'm going to apply for college after the summer. So what type of future is this? It's actually quite similar to the example that we looked at in number two, in that it's a plan or an intention. But I would say this is not quite as strong as sentence two, I'm meeting some friends this evening. In number two, you've already made the arrangements, you know it's certain. And number three, it's more of a plan or an intention. And the structure here, some people confuse this with present continuous, but it's actually a different structure. So it's going to plus the infinitive. I'm going to apply for college. Okay, and number four, I'll make dinner. I'll make dinner. So what, what are we trying to express here? This is a decision. So we're making a decision at the moment of speaking about the future. We can always also use these, also use will for promises and for predictions as well. Sentence five. By this time next year, I'll have finished school. By this time next year, I'll have finished school. So what are we trying to express here about the future? We're trying to express that by a certain time, in this case next year, something will have happened before that. So it will have been completed before that point. And this, of course, is what we call future perfect. And the structure is will, plus have, plus the third form of the verb, or the past participle, whatever you want to call it. Something important to point out here is that the have is always have. It doesn't change to the third person has, because it comes after will. Okay, and the last example we're going to look at, number six. This time next week, we'll be sitting on the beach. This time next week, we'll be sitting on the beach. Okay, so what we're we trying to describe 
or what we're trying to show here about the future. We're thinking about a particular point in the future and what will be happening at that exact moment. So a particular point here is this time next week and what we will be doing at that time. Okay, and that's what we call future continuous. And the structure of this is will plus be plus the ing form of the verb. Okay, so just to recap quickly, these six different ways of talking about the future. We have present simple, present continuous, going to plus infinitive, will, future perfect, and future continuous. Now let's have a little test. Now, I'm going to give you five sentences, and each one I'd like you to try to complete it with the verb given in the correct tense or the correct form, one of the six that we've just looked at. Okay, so here's the first one. They get married in October this year. So which of the tenses or structures will you go for here? Think about the type of future that is being described. And the correct answer is, they are getting married in October this year. Or they're getting married in October this year. Yes, so it's present continuous because we're talking about an arrangement. All the plans are in place for their marriage. Number two, I travel when I finish college. So let's think about the type of future here. Are we talking about a promise? Are we talking about a plan, an intention? It's a plan. So the correct answer here is, I'm going to travel when I finish college. Okay, and number three. When I'm 25, I live in London. When I'm 25, I live in London. Something to focus on here is that we're thinking about a particular point, a specific point in the future, when I'm 25. So we need to use future continuous. And the correct answer is, when I'm 25, I'll be living in London. Okay, and number four is a question. So remember, about, remember that when you're making the structure. What do with your free time when you finish studying? So what will you go for here? The correct answer is, what are you going to do with your free time when you finish studying? And number five, by this time next year, we get rid of COVID-19. Hopefully, or maybe even sooner. So what tense are you going to look for here? Already when you see by this time next year, you should start thinking about future perfect. So the correct answer is, by this time next year, we'll have got rid of COVID-19. I hope that all makes sense. Why don't you try to write some example sentences about your life and your future in the comments below, and I'll correct them for you. Follow us on social media for other learning materials and daily updates, and I'll see you next time. At English Now, we're always looking for new ideas for lessons. Is there anything you would like to have a lesson on? Thinking about grammar, pronunciation, vocabulary, maybe related to an exam? If there is something you would like to see a lesson on, 
please let us know. You can contact us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or you can email us at englishnow.yt at gmail.com.